Hi everyone, I'm Glenn Flaherty from Board Games of Bourbon, but I'm really here today just to show us how to do a video so you can live stream your games and share it with the community. I would like to see them. I would like to see games uh, enjoyed by people and what you like about it, you know, instead of like the publishers or the hype people for the publishers or whatever. I want to see what you do. Um, when you do your live streams, it uh, really just requires really good audio and some visuals and um, doesn't really take money or effort, anything like that, okay? Take some software I'm going to show you how to use, about 10 minutes to set up, and uh, don't get discouraged if no one's watching it because it's always hard to get an audience right away. They show up later and they watch it, and they do appreciate it when you do it. I always get lots of thank yous. So now for the audio, uh, you're probably going to have the audio built into your you know, computer or whatever. I chose to have a microphone because it's just my favorite. I have lapel mics and stuff, but having this up here is always just seems to do it for me. Um, for, as far as the cameras, you're probably going to want one or two. Some people like to have a face and they like to have a camera looking down at the game. I don't care if my face is in it. But for this example, I have a camera built into my laptop here. I have a camera over here that is a little, you know, attachable USB camera that can look down. I think it streams at like 720 or 1080, something like that. And then I have over here, I have a cell phone. And this cell phone uh, is actually working on Wi-Fi, but the plug there is to uh, charge it while we do this. Okay, this is just for an example. You're going to need a software that's free called OBS and maybe one for your particular camera. I have droids. I have something called Droid Cam, and I'll show you how to use it. You install Droid Cam on the cell phone. You install it on the computer, and then it'll say, type in the number that's on your cell phone, and then it works every single time. It's very easy. So as far as to use the... Um, OBS. Once you downloaded OBS and you plugged in all your goodies, your microphone or whatever, even if you didn't, okay, what you're going to do is create scenes. Scenes need sources. You need to make sure your source volume is up and then you press start, okay? So for this example, I'm going to show you the screen here. Now, what that's going to do is going to create an infinite image in the center, so ignore that. We're going to be looking at the far left called scenes. Next to that is sources. The sources go into making the scenes, the audio to make sure you're choosing the right audio and it's not peaked out. And then on the far right, uh, really, you need three buttons. The settings button that lets it connect with YouTube or Twitch or Facebook. The start streaming, so you can stream online. That's really all you need. So under scene, I have a bunch depending on what kind of things I'm doing. These are basically like setting the stage for any broadcast. And I created one called OBS Capture. Um, for you to create your first one, just press the plus, which means add, and then add something there. Like I could say Facebook live stream or whatever it might be. B and then press OK. That's all you got to do. Okay, I'm not going to do it because I'm on OBS. Then I have to tell OBS what's included. I've included my Yeti microphone, which is what you're hearing me through, and my OBS capture, which is why we see this infinite image because it's showing my computer screen over and over. But what you do is you go to plus and you add whatever you want. It could be a new audio device or even the internal audio of the computer. You know, um, you, it says create new and then you choose what it is. That's all there is to it. You do that not only for the audio, but you're going to do that for the video capturing. You might want to add a title via a text or a window capture or a display capture or an entire browser. It doesn't matter. You add whatever you want. Over here, you're going to turn off the audios you don't want to hear and turn on the audio you do want to hear. Then over here on the controls, you go to setting and you're going to go to the streaming because you want to stream it. And what you're going to do is you're going to choose, do I want Twitch? Do I want YouTube? Do I want Twitter? Whatever. Facebook Live is what I'm going to use. And then we have to put in a streaming key to connect it, and we'll do that in a second, okay? Okay, and that's all you got to do for now. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to um, our, let's see, hopefully we'll, yeah, it's going to show this up here, okay? This is Facebook. Now I'm in the Roll and Write group at the minute. Okay, and if you look here where it says write a post, it says live video. So I'm going to click on live video. And when I do live video, what it's going to do is it's going to open up the feed to talk to the OBS. Okay, and where are we going to do here? We are going to go down to where it says streaming key, and we're going to highlight the streaming key. Okay, essentially we're just going to copy it. I'm going to go back to my crazy OBS, and I'm going to go over to the setting. I'm going to go to that stream and drop that copied key in. Boop. Apply. Okay. And I press start streaming. So that when I go back to here, you'll notice in a second it's going to connect. It's trying to connect, and there it is. And what it's showing is whatever I have OBS showing. Okay. 
Then on the far left here, I can go live now. I can schedule it for the future. I usually go live now. You can share it on your timeline or on a page or in a group to your friends or whomever. You can title it. You can say something about it. And then you just press go live. And then you're live. And there you go. There's usually going to be a chat. Some people show up, some don't. Don't worry about it. It's hard to look at the chat and do your job. Also be aware that there's a little bit of a delay whenever you uh, are streaming, okay? And lastly, for the Wi-Fi, um, the Wi-Fi uses something called DroidCam. You have to download a version from the Google Store for the camera, a version for Windows, which is free online from like Dev7 or something like this. And then uh, once it's installed, the phone will give you a number, it uses your internal Wi-Fi router. It gives you a number. And then the computer will say, uh, what was that number? And when you enter it, boop, there it is. It's one of your options. And then you can just use it, and you're ready to go. That's that's all that's required. So I hope that was helpful. I hope that was easy. Everything essentially was free. You know, you just need some bare bones things. Uh, you need to be able to click on a uh, computer, and you need probably a webcam, okay? Maybe a webcam stand. So I hope that helps. And until next time, friends, thank you so much. Good luck with that. And I'm happy to uh, let me know when you're streaming so I can watch. Thanks.